Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I want to show you my Vela soldering gun. This soldering gun is pretty neat, but wait for it, I found something even bigger. But first, this is the small 8100C. Nice, but nothing too special. I've got it on eBay for 13 euro and sometimes they sell for even less. I saw such a unit on the Tech Tips Tuesday show by Mr. Carlson Slap. Very well and this just gets hot right now and uh, is just absolutely wonderful for, for chassis soldering this one. If you haven't subscribed to his channel yet, please do it right now. I will link it in down in the description. Unfortunately, Mr. Carlson's powerful 140 watts model is built for 120 volts only. I can't use it here in Austria since we have 240 volts. All 240 volt models that I found have 100 watts or less. That's kind of depressing. There is an even more powerful unit on the market, the D550. It has more than 200 watts, but again, it is 120 volts only. Yeah, I can't find any soldering gun on the German Weller website, even though Weller is selling soldering guns on the German market. Only thing I've got is this 100 watts model, which I can't necessarily recommend. I was about to give up. But then I found this. This power horse has 250 watts and is built for 220 volts. Woohoo! Works fine. You can get it in new condition on Reichel, Germany. But I got it from the local classified ads for a fraction of the new price. It arrived fast and is in perfect condition. Effectively, it consists of nothing but a large power transformer, with only one super strong winding on the secondary side, giving you approximately 1 to 3 volts, but shorted out by the tip. Infinite current, in theory limited only by the total resistance of the secondary loop. And as I saw it on Mr. Carson's lab, I have removed the original solder dip and replaced it by a solid wire. In this case, by a 4 square millimeters copper wire. That's approx 11 American wire gauge. See, that's just wonderful. And now I want to check out the experiment Mr. Carlson did. I want to solder right on a metal sheet. I tried this with many different other soldering irons and <laughs> it didn't work at all. First of all, use sandpaper to clean the metal chassis. Then apply a proper soldering flux. I'm using a regular Vela flux. It's also good for rare diseases. But don't try this at home, I'm just kidding. Also, I'm using my Vela Zero Smog Pump to get rid of the dangerous fume. You don't want to have these fumes in your lungs, trust me. Here is the Vela Pump. Beauty. Well then, heat up the soldering gun. It is ready in two seconds. Add some solder wire and swing the solder tip in circles. Allow a few seconds to heat up the chassis. Unbelievable! It is working great. Much better than what I expected. I can highly recommend you this piece of equipment. So that's it for today. I hope you liked the video. You would help me a lot if you put a thumbs up. And I hope to see you again soon. Bye bye! Beauty.